This data structure is the core entity of an app called the Work in Progress Monitor. So far the Work in Progress Monitor only shows work packages. The new request is to also provide monitors for improvements and functionalities. At first this sounds like a simple change. But because it touches the domain model, it creates ripple effects across several layers. How do we make sure we don't miss anything? The key question is, how should we represent the different work item types in the design? Probably the most obvious option is to add a new field called work item type to represent the type of each work item. This is non-breaking in the sense that the code still compiles after the change. But that's where the problem starts. As soon as we change the repository to return snapshots of all work item types, the counts shown in the work in progress monitor will be wrong if we forget to update all the places where filtering by the work item type is needed. An alternative approach is to introduce a breaking change on purpose and let the compiler guide it.